Hey guys, what's happening? So I thought I'd give you guys an update on this uh, hot end, what I'm working on here. I decided to make some improvements. I mean, I did a lot of prints, and I was getting some, like, vibration in the, the extruder. And I feel like it was actually pushing too much tension down here. But let me show you the original design here. Um, so the original design actually had a bushing in here. Uh, let's go down to bodies. Um, so there's a bushing in here, but I feel like it was, it was creating a lot of pressure on this front side of the bushing right in here. Um, so what I did is I decided to add a second bushing to the front of it. So I changed the design. I mean, I added a little bit of weight to it, but I needed more stability. That's the things I'm working on. Here we go. So I decided to put another, um, another, uh, bushing up here. The same thing, the same, uh, oil impregnated bronze with graphite bushing here. Um, all right. So yeah, if you're not, if you're not familiar with my, uh, my extruder designs, I, I try to design everything for ease of use. So in case you get a clog or a jam in your extruder, you can quickly take it apart. Like on this one, I can do it in two screws, two long screws. I can pull the whole front out and the whole extruder pops out. Uh, I can take the whole thing apart and look at it, unjam it, unclog it. Or even if I want to change a different design, it's only really, it's only two screws. And then here, because this is connected here still, I can just slide this whole thing forward on the rod and it should be fine. Um, yeah, I have a volcano hot end. That's what I'm here, but, um, so yeah, this is kind of a concept I've been doing for a while. This quick change thing. Let me show you my original. I did, did this a couple of years ago, but it was the same thing. This was my first design when I had like a, uh, like a bed slinger type printer. Um, so this was actually my first use of the word Orca um, in one of my printers. Actually, I was using this name way before the Orca Slicer, so, <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Like, when I said the Orca Slicer, what? But, uh, yeah, this one here was just, like, three screws. It was a Bontech BMG-style extruder, um, but ultra lightweight, you know, but it was, like I said, three screws. I could pull the front out. Um, I did have some, some minor issues with this one. Um, like, this one was really sensitive to heat creep. So, like, retraction and that kind of stuff like that. Um, but even because I originally had a fan cover on the front of it, and it uh, were cool. But it's the same same concept as, uh, where's my other one? Uh, where's my other? Somewhere here. Here it is. Same thing with my other orc, orc, orc extruder here. So, on this one, this is on my orca printer. I mean, I actually have a HDX light extruder on the top of it. Um, but it's the same thing. On this one, I can take out four screws, and I can just pop the whole front out, and the whole hot end pops out. So, yeah, I, I can't stand, because I've, I've fixed so many different 3D printers, and I can't stand, um, you know, when it takes me half an hour just to get the extruder apart, to, to, to deal with a clog or jam or whatever. Um, because a lot of people, like, when they put a new nozzle, they don't tighten this down correctly. And it leaks out uh, plastic, you know, right here. Like, they don't clamp down the, the nut, or they don't do it like when it's hot. So then they start getting a lot of leakage on the top, and it becomes a total mess as it glues everything together. So, um, yeah, that was why I, when I designed all my hot ends, I designed them for easy, so I can take them apart real easily. Because I got so frustrated dealing with the complex extruder systems. All right, let's all right putting on the multimeter stand, but all right, so parts came in from Amazon. Here they are, there's all those bronze impregnated graphite bushings. So, like I said earlier, like when I designed this thing, I designed it for ease of use, take it apart. So just two screws. I just have one screw in this bolt, lower this down, I can pop the graphite thing off here, the graphite tube, the holder. So I'm gonna take that off. And then I don't even take the back part off because that's all gonna stay the same, just re replacing the front part. So I'm gonna move the fan around a little bit too, but all right, uh, should be a two millimeter screw. All right, that shit is coming off like that. And I'm gonna pop the fan out. Yeah, sorry, I know that background noise is pretty bad. The other printer right next to it, but that was the slop right here. See right there? So, I'm sure you're gonna see what's up with that too, but, um, so the slop was right here. Well, actually it's forced, it's easier way. So it created a lot of issues in here. Uh, binding, it'd, it'd want to come down. So by, I think by adding the second one, I'm gonna give it more control. Okay, so 
here is the second bush in here. That's the original one. And I'm hoping that will that they get the extra support it needs. Alright guys, yeah, doing some prints. Uh, let's see here. So, I mean, the more I mess with this, the more I mess with this, the settings, you know, the more I dialed in, getting all the noises, you know, because you don't want any sort of vibration. See that vibration? So, just trying to deal with, like, all the um, solving where the vibrations are coming from. Because those vibrations will translate into, into your part. I'm trying to figure out if it's the... New linear barriers I put in there, or um, I, I feel like it's coming from the sides, not so much in the front here. Alright, getting some down in, having fun. Alright, cool.